Yeah. Well, so. it's okay. Blessing was more light, uh, late African. <laughs> well, he's black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a few days ago, Just Pearly Things had an interview with white supremacist or white nationalist, whichever you want to categorize him, Nick Fuentes. Now, Nick Fuentes is a 24 year old uh, man who is um, very outspoken about you know, white nationalism and things like that. So she had him on a live stream. Now, what's very interesting about that is just Pearly Things has a podcast that is based in London. And I would say that the majority of her full-time cast, I would say would be a member of the, the, the black London community. Like there's King Riches over there. Um, there's a few other brothers over there. And they've built that channel into uh, a really good powerhouse. She's really organized and things like that which would make me wonder why she's interviewing Nick Fuentes. Now, typically she talks about things like modern women. Um, a lot of the things that you would see in the manosphere are talking points. Um, and a lot of people have accused her of, you know, stealing from Kevin Samuels or stealing from the manosphere and then monetizing it. But this interview with Nick Fuentes proves to me that she's trying to take her business into a different uh, reality, probably because she feels like at some point there's going to be a dead end for the modern women thing. Um, and she, and I noticed when she's live, she doesn't get nearly as many viewers as fresh and fit. So I think she's trying to make the same pivot that Adam 22 is trying to make. And, and even like Joe button, they're trying to bring on like controversial people. Uh, you see Adam 22 bringing on people like Tariq Nasheed. Um, he wants to have Tariq Nasheed debate people on his platform and all of that. And again, that's to get into a larger audience, right? And that's not just them doing it. It's a lot of people. Value Tainment is doing that same playbook. So all of them are trying to get into a different market. In doing so, they're using people who will have controversial views, such as Nick Fuentes. Now, let me just say this. Um, popular YouTuber Jason Black, who also runs the business YouTube channel, <clears throat> has pointed this out. And um, I know of brother Jason Black. He was, you know, way popular, more popular than me when I first started YouTube. And he has a really strong audience. He has a really loyal fan base. I've had a chance to talk to him one time on Instagram, uh, not Instagram, Facebook Messenger. You know, we we, we were both friends on Facebook, and uh, I like I like what he what he has to say as a a, a pro black myself, right? I don't um, disagree with him too much with the things that I've heard. Um, however. When he criticized Jess Purdy things in the past, uh, people were saying that he was a hater. He was jealous of her success and all of this, right? So I, he, on his channel, the business uh, YouTube platform, he has broken down the interview with Jess Purdy things into timestamps. So it was very easy for me to follow, to see what I wanted to see. And at first, Jess Purdy things, who has, like I said, an, um, a black, uh, a lot of black employees, King Richards being one of them, um, she, she, they, they were having a conversation about African employees versus American employees. And this is what, you know, Jason Black was trying to point out that he felt that she was trying to take a diss at African Americans. So I want to play that clip and let's see if he's right. I wonder what Miss Pearly things thinks of African immigrants versus black Americans, specifically descendants of slaves, foundationals. I wonder what she thinks of that if we get into the immigration discussion. I wonder what she's going to say if you ask her about that. Brace yourselves, all of her supporters. No, and that's not a conservative position, mm -hmm. especially not 50 million people in 10 years. Right. Because America's got 300 million. So, mm -hmm. you know, what is that? One sixth of the population and... And, 10 years and so why why is that why does he support that no why are you against him pro because in my head see i hire people from africa right, right. shout out blessing yeah <laughs> <laughs> and i just see like the work ethic of people that are like not from america and they often work harder than the people that are from america so in my head it's like wouldn't it help us economically if we had more <laughs> Like, if they had a certain, like, mindset in order. Well. Oh, oh, I told you you were going to get your hearts and your feelings and your souls broken. There's no way you can defend her now and sit up here and say you cool with it. She just outright told you. Well, they work harder than uh people. Now, you know she means black. I like my African immigrants. They work harder than uh 
people from Amer people from America. So in this first clip, I thought it was sort of uh, a reach because she's just seeing <clears throat> Americans and he's trying to insinuate that she's seeing black people are African Americans. So I really couldn't nail her on that particular talking point, right? But it gets worse. Um, Jason Black does a yeoman's job in really nailing her to the cross on this next point. Now, this is gonna be a point about being on time and, um, and, and you're gonna hear what Nick Fuentes has to say um, about black people after that. Um, I'm gonna play that particular clip right there and then we'll come back. Very industrious. Yeah. You know, not, I mean, there are a lot of people that would like to be a YouTuber because mm -hmm. they'd like to hear, they'd like people. Okay, now let me back up just a little bit more here because he's talking about people being hardworking. He's talking about people in general from various other places. I think he mentioned Germany. But I, wa I want you to get the full context of this so when she says what she says, it smacks you upside the back of the head like a cinder block. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Stop!" No, they all they all said they all said I was crazy. Who's laughing now? <laughs> yeah. Who's laughing now? Austin, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> well, but hey, but you're very industrious. Yeah, you know, not. I mean, there are a lot of people that would like to be a YouTuber because mm -hmm. they'd like to hear they'd like people to care about their opinions and like what they ate for lunch and you know things mm -hmm. about my life that just makes sense or whatever. Mm -hmm. But how many people can make a company and deal with the things you deal with? Mm -hmm. You know, like recruiting. Thing. And, you know, because I, I mean, not on the same scale as you, but I do things and it's tough. You know, it's a business. Mm -hmm. It's it's fun not in front of the camera, but behind the scenes, it's a business. Mm -hmm. And that is a German attribute to be industrious. I'm Italian. The only times I'm on time for things is when I like get the time wrong, when I think I'm <laughs> supposed to be there way earlier than I'm actually You're supposed to be today. there. Because I thought I was supposed to be here at three. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I texted you. I texted you, I'm on my way because I thought I was already 10 minutes late <laughs> when I was leaving. <laughs> Yeah, well, so. it's okay. Blessing was more light, uh, late African. <laughs> well, he's black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are all the folks who said I was a hater? Where are all the folks who were sitting up here saying, well, Jason, you reaching, you stretching? Where are all of them now? I want to know where all of them are after tonight. Yeah, ha, 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 he, he, he. What's so damn funny? What's so damn funny now? Oh, yeah, before this is over, I'm going to name names. What's so damn funny now? You can't lie and say you didn't see this. Jason Black has been talking about this now for over a year, for about two years now. And I've been naming this chick in particular. I said it from day one. Hey, she doesn't need to be given any space around here. I said it the whole time. Where are the folks who are sitting up criticizing me now? Because you're going to have to justify this. And you're going to have to justify why it is that Jason said it the whole time and you were defending it the whole time and you're just now saying something. By the way, yeah, you all thought she was going to leave it alone. That wasn't Fuentes who brought up the black people this time. He talked about him being late and then she brings up the black folk around her. You know, those cute little African pets that she has working for her. She's the one who brings them up. So guys, you can argue a lot of things, but one of the things you can't do is argue with the truth. Um, that clip is is really disrespectful, not only to the African person blessing, because this is the same person that you said you want to bring to America because they work better than Americans, but at the same time, you're saying that, well, she's late, African, right? And then he says, yeah, she's late, well, because she's black. And then you laughed. So here, here's something that I, I really want to honestly say, right? And I know like a lot of black dudes in the manosphere, black manosphere, like Jess Purdy things. Obviously, I don't think most of her audience is black, but you do have some brothers that were defending her. And she has worked with a lot of black YouTubers. I mean, I have emails of her asking me for an interview in 2021 when she was still small. But if you guys know me, I don't really work with, um, I don't really collaborate outside of the race, even on YouTube. So it kind of goes against my personal goals. Not to say that I'm, I don't like anybody, or I'm racist or anything, but I'm a black YouTuber and I am a pro black. So I only really work with the black YouTube community or black content creators. Uh, what she said right there is completely disrespectful. The guy is right, all right? Um, if you want to have those conversations, like, and I have friends of other races and um, you know, if we're going to joke around, like we have before, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, offline or say certain things. I mean, 
e- even with other Africans, you know, we, 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 we can do that. But to say that publicly and then laugh, that was an opportunity for you to be like, yo, bro, that's like not cool. Or cut the, the, that comment out of the live stream. But he's right. He, she's the one that brought it up. Like he wasn't bringing up the fact that her uh, staff was late. <clears throat> you said blessing then African. And again, it's like, okay, she said that, you know, but Jason Black says, you know, we brought her into the, in, into this black space. I don't really think that's the case. I think that, you know, she started aligning herself with black people onto her show. And um, so that made it more comfortable for certain blacks to come. And then she's talking real, you know, a lot of stuff about women. You know, she was reviewing hip hop and things like that. So she was trying to put herself into the space like Adam 22 puts herself in the space like Vlad puts himself into the space. And I guess, you know, Jason Black is trying to be upset that these people are letting her into the space. Um, I don't know if she did that per YouTube, because again, that's how it kind of works when you're targeting that sort of audience. But the reality is he overall is right. I can't get around that, man. Like nobody can say that Jason Black is not right. You can call him whatever you want to call him. I know a lot of brothers don't like Jason Black and whatever. Um, you know, I heard that, you know, like Mr. Fantastic called into the show. He hung up on the guy. He might cheat his callers bad or whatever you might say. But this one is right because he, he got it right there on tape. And again, you know, just pearly things doesn't take black people that serious, bro. And and one of the reasons why is because we don't challenge it. Like she would never do that with any other community. But yeah, she can say that African thing out there and knows that like, hey, you're not going to have any problems with that. And that's the situation. So, I mean, I think that the brother is completely 100% right on what he said. And um, again, you're free to listen to who you want us to, to listen to. But at the same time, just know that um, people are out there willing to be disrespectful towards you. They'll be willing to laugh at folks saying that all oh, black people are late. I don't care if you're talking about she dates black men or she has a black boyfriend. I don't care about that, man. Like, seriously, you know what I mean? And for black YouTubers that go and deal with her, I mean, you know, more power to you. I don't have no problem with you. That's um, you know, not you know, nothing I can do about that. But then <clears throat> just also know she don't have no respect for you either. So any black YouTuber after that that goes over there, let's say for example, you didn't know at first, fine. If you show up to her podcast knowing that, just know that you give her more reason not to take black people that serious. And it's she owes the black community an apology for that. Um, and that's, that's all I have to say. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. <laughs>